Uh, you want to. Yeah. yeah, I'm just going to run it by you to try and season them. We're kind enough to train my Husky Shepherd and did a wonderful job, without a doubt. So Kim and I are pretty proud that they took care of her and made her as good as she is because, I mean, she's exceptionally good now, without a doubt. You know, and Trey also was kind enough to introduce me to this group here from the Public Boot Company. That's great, great, without a doubt, you know. Uh, looks like he's got me here to do a little cowboy poetry for you tonight. So, Ooh, yeah. 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 so I got a little something, something I'm going to throw at you real quick. It's called Born to this Land. Okay. I kicked up the hidden mesquite roots and rocks from the place where I spread out my bed. And I'm laying here looking at a sky full of stars with my hands folded up beneath my head. Tonight, there's a terrible pain in my heart. Like a knife, it cuts jagged and deep. This evening, the windmiller brought me the word that my granddaddy died in his sleep. So I saddled my gray horse and rode out to a hill to when, when I was a youngster. My grandfather said to me, son, this is ours. It's yours your daddy's and mine. He says, my father grew older. We bought up more rain. We paid for most of all of this land. From the time he went on, we were running more cows. And your daddy was my right-hand man. When the railroad got closer, we built the first fence where the river runs to the east side. Then when I was a button, they built these corrals. That winter, my granddaddy died. Not many years later, my daddy was killed on a ship in the South China Sea. For 20 odd years now, we've made this winch work. Two cowboys, my granddad and me. And now that he's gone, things are starting to change. And I reckon that's how it should be because five generations have made this ranch work. And I promise it won't end with me. Because wow. I got a little one hung him in a crib. And when he's old enough, that he'll understand. From the top of this hill, I'll show him his ranch. Because like me, he was born to this one. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, sir. Men make me cry these days. Aww. Shut up, faggot. <laughs>